guys, what is up? Jake, I am here, and today we are going to be playing a little bit of Minecraft. But today, I'm going to show you how to make some TNT cannons. Oops. So, um, these are really useful for if you're in, like, a, um, some sort of battle or anything, and you just need a quick, uh, quick sort of home defense thing. Like, if you were building a base and you need something other than arrows and bows to, uh, help you out and to give a little more boom um, this will definitely help you out so as soon as my game loads I can show you what I'm doing do, do, do. I actually had a TNT cannon battle with my friend the other day so ooh, this is a perfect area too alright so let's get some TNT come on now um, and I'll be showing you how to make a couple different versions of these so we're going to be taking those TNT carts. Actually, we need a lot more than that. Uh, yeah, let's just put you there. Uh, that, and that, and whoops, sorry. Just going to take a whole bunch out here. Just a little more. Alright, that's perfect. And then we're going to need a dispenser. And we're going to need a... Come on now. We're going to need some redstone. Oops. Redstone. Where are you, redstone? Then we're going to need a lever. A button. And basically everything redstone. So we're going to also need some stone pressure plate and we're not gonna want like the big ones oh and then we're also gonna need some building blocks so let's just take cobblestone alright so first I'm gonna show you how to build the very very simple but effective shotgun cannon so this is really easy if you just need a quick little thing and you have a bunch of TNT that's pretty helpful um, so what you're gonna need to do is you can make it any size you really want but for more bang for your buck and stuff um, you're gonna want to make it to make this platform as big as possible that's not very helpful over here so let's just take that down we're gonna need that and then um, you don't have to make it necessarily uh, and then you don't have to necessarily make it um, off the ground. I just like it that way because then it's a lot more. Uh, it flies a little bit better, flies farther. So we're just gonna make this. We're gonna make it too high, and then you're gonna want a decent size like launching pad, like uh, that. And this will completely obliterate your little area so if this is a base don't build it inside the base whatever you do <laughs> alright so now we're gonna put the TNT or the uh, pressure plate right there and then what's gonna happen is that this is all gonna light off and then it's gonna explode launching this into that making that launch off all while setting it off at the same time so here I'll just step on it real quick Right, fly up. Oh, that's gonna come flying up. I misjudged that. Boom! And there it all goes. Whoa, lag spike! Yeah, so it's a really effective way to just get a nice little shotgun blast. Um, so yeah, <laughs> it also really helps if you're if they're near the cannon because a lot of it does go into the into the uh, main direction. So. <laughs> I must have killed the sheep. So now I'm gonna show you how to make a one-shot cannon. Whoops. Uh, here, hang on. Let me remember. Um, you have to take cobble and build it too high. Whoops. And you're gonna want. You're actually gonna want to make some parts more than too high, but I'll show you how to do that in a sec. Sorry, I'm a little OCD with that stuff. So let's take that, take that, take that, take that, take that. Move, sheep. Take that. 
Uh, right about there. Okay. No, move, freaking cheap. All right, so then you're going to want to build that. You want to build a part right next to there, so that, or right in between these two walls, so that you have a nice little place to put the TNT. So then you're going to want to put a dispenser there. And let's put some TNT in it. Oops. Whatever. Uh, let me put some there. Wait, actually I actually want to make this three high. My bad, I screwed up. My bad, my bad. Make this wall three high. I have no idea why I destroyed all that wall. Um, yeah, that should work. So, then we're going to want to put that right there. Put the redstone down over here. We're actually going to want to build this down a little bit so that I can reach a button. Like, let me get my button. Like that. We're going to put another button over here. We're going to just line this with redstone. Now what we're going to want to do is take water, a bucket of water, uh, yeah, and we're just going to want to spread it right there. I'm just going to put it right there. And we're going to make sure that, it, that the water is flowing to wherever you want to shoot it. So say I want to shoot it over there toward that piece of water, which is not going to make it blow up, but whatever. <laughs> um, so you want to make sure that it's flowing that direction because that's the direction I want it to shoot. So then I'm going to fill that with uh, TNT and I'm going to want to put uh, that there, that there, that there, that right there. And then you're going to... Actually, you're going to want to keep this one open and this... No. That's okay, that's okay. Um... So then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take your button. You want to go want your black can't talk today. You're going to want to I seriously can't talk. Push this button first to activate all that TNT. Wait for 3 and go. Crap, that didn't work. Oh no. Ah. Well anyway, that one piece of TNT went flying, which is good cuz that's the one that I wanted to fly. Hopefully it did blow up somewhere. Let's go find out where it was. Oh. That was it. Oh, no, that's just the start of the cave. It must have blown up midair. But, um, yeah, I kind of screwed up a little bit right there because I think I made it a little too far up. And holy crap, how much water came out of that thing? <laughs> Dang. Um, so let's just build this back up. Uh huh. Uh-huh, that back up there, that back up there, that back up there, that back up there. Alright, so then we're going to want that dispenser back. Oop. And then you're going to want that right there. Put all the redstone over here. Is the button connected? Yep, okay. Is that button connected? Okay, now I'm going to make sure that this time it doesn't blow up in my face. So, you know, let's do that. So the one that I want, that I put down that I wasn't supposed to was this one. So we're going to put that one down, and that one down, and that one down. So we're only going to have three. Now, in order to make it fly farther and possibly higher, you're going to want more. If you want it to fly higher, you're actually going to want to put two on top, which is really difficult because that kind of blows up your entire cannon. But, I mean, if that's what you want to do, that's what you want to do. Um, it's really effective, though, for a long-range kill. So let's do this again. One, two, three, go. Stand back. Woo! There it goes. Boom! Beautiful. That was perfect. That's just what I wanted. So, again, it isn't perfect necessarily, but it does get the job done. So, let's just try this one more time. One, two, three. Okay. Fire. Three, two, one, go! Whoa! That was perfect timing. And boom! Beautiful. Now, I actually want to try one more thing. Because I haven't, I actually haven't tried this before. So, if it does backfire... I'm sorry. <laughs> I just screwed up. So, I'm going to wait. One, two, three. One, two! One, two! Uh-oh. Oh! It does work! Oh, except that one blew up in midair. Let's try that one more time. Because this could be a new experiment. 
could be whoops it could be pretty fun let's do that uh oh screwed up again you know what what the heck well no I'll go out with the boom next time one two three one two one two one two there we go where'd it go where'd it go? uh oh run cheap Ooh, okay good <laughs> all right so this time we're gonna go out with the bang one two three four now the reason why I don't want to plug this one up is because it will um, get rid of the water and then it won't flow and then your entire cannon will blow up. So let's put that down. One, two, three. Sorry, cannon. Boom. There it went. Yeah, see, so for whatever reason, when I do this, one, two, one, uh... Hang on, I'm trying to make a little prototype here. Uh, yeah, that should work. So, put that down. Run! So now it should, like, fly high. Whoa, there we go. Ah! Then that's also pretty effective for a TNT cannon when you want it to work. If, if you know, you just have no building materials or anything, just slap down a lever. And then the whole thing will fly. So let's wait a little bit. Watch it fly. Oh, it didn't work. Okay, see, I want to know why that doesn't work. So, let's try something. Oh, I know why it doesn't work. You need the water down. Because it won't blow up without the water down. So let's, uh, uh... It's better than nothing. So let's put that down and that on top. And then... That right there. Oh, there you go. Yeah. There you go. Alright, fine. Okay, let's just take flint. Just take a flint of steel. And one, two. Alright, go. Uh oh, that went the wrong way. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is why you uh, put down the. Uh, shoot. I totally forgot what I was going to say. So let's just watch this one fly. Ah! And so that, ladies and gentlemen, is why you face the water the right way and oh hello there's a cave down here whoa bro alright so that was how to make some nice TNT cannons um, I just showed you a couple of versions there are many many versions they're more efficient and more um, more reliable but I just showed a couple of good easy ones that are pretty easy to build um, so if you like this video and whoa I am getting a lag spike probably from all that fire I put down um, if you did enjoy this video please leave a like and subscribe if you want more um, I don't play a whole lot of Minecraft but or, well that's not true I play a lot of Minecraft but um, I do play a different variety of games I'm just starting a Half-Life series so um, yeah uh, thanks for watching bye